Big boys, yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing good. All right, so today I got some investments cards that I think look decent for you guys, all right? So it's gonna be a mix of Team of the Week, some specials. You guys already know what's happening. We're gonna take a look at all that. But before we get into it though, guys, I do have a giveaway as promised. Thank you guys for 2,000 subscribers here on YouTube, all right? All you guys need to do is this, all right? If you are on PlayStation, if you are on PlayStation, guys, make sure to drop a like on the video, make sure you're subscribed, and then just leave a comment, all right? Leave a comment. All I want to know is what team do you support, all right? Let me know uh, what team you guys support, and uh, I'm going to choose three winners to get 100,000 coins each from me uh, on PlayStation. So I'm going to reach out to you guys. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. Just check your messages. Uh, I'm just going to choose three people. Easy days, all right? If you guys possibly want more giveaways in the future, man, I could maybe do something like maybe like one winner every day per video for like 50,000 coins or something. Let me know, guys. Let me know down below as well what you guys think, all right? But uh, for this one, though, make sure you guys enter. If you guys, especially, I'm assuming if you guys are watching a trading video, you guys probably need coins, right? So, uh, yep, make sure you guys go for it. Enter. I'll hit you guys up. Last thing, make sure you guys do click the link down below. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Real Edwin. Come to the streams, guys, all right? I'm live five to six days a week at 3 Eastern. Check it out, check it out. Any market questions you guys have, that is the best way to get uh, an immediate response from me, of course. All right, guys. Now, as for investments for today, all right? We are starting off with Mr. Tavernier. I mean, this dude literally every year has an insane card. Even his uh, inform for the time that it came out wasn't that bad, right? He is currently 22K. Now, let's compare it to another 86 just fodder like Busquets, who is currently 20k, all right? So, basically, what we're doing is this. 86s are inflated right now. Would I personally buy at this price? Probably not. Honestly, the price I would go for on all consoles is about 18 to 19k, guys. So, uh, yeah, don't pay this price. But if you guys want to just sit there and snipe 18, 19k, just compare it to, once again, Busquets or guys like other 86s for comparison. Just know that they are pretty high right now. Fodder is high, high, high. Um, they definitely need to come down a bit. He'll probably drop back down eventually to like between 15 to 18k. So, uh, yeah, for tab guys, personally, aim for 18k. Okay, real quick, I'm just gonna, every video I basically do this, guys, I'm just gonna breeze through the team of the week. So, all right, let's take a look at where we're at. Lawa is over 100k, all right? If you guys saw my last two videos, I think he was in the 80s we were buying at. So, uh, GG's if you guys bought. Saying this though, all right, guys, I personally still think they have room to rise. Lewa, I definitely think can go up another 5 to 10k, in my opinion. Uh, if you guys do want him, uh, 100k. 100k Xbox P PC, uh, I would go for 95k on PS. They're not gonna, he's not gonna drop. There's just no reason for him to drop. He's impacted with two more days. Uh, he's just gonna keep rising as he ha been, has been for the last two days. Yeah, keep, uh, I would just keep sniping. Okay, now Kane, I'm actually not going to keep sniping, but you guys know, I have a good amount at 68-ish K, max 68, I want to say, a lot of 65K that I got a couple days ago, if you guys watched my video, so he's already up a bit, if you bought GG, at this point, ah, 75K, he can still rise, but uh, yeah, considering I bought so cheap, I'm not paying this price, but if you want him though, 5K undercuts. Once again, guys, uh, like I said, these cards have risen, all right, why I'm still kind of recommending it, for example, Sancho, we bought all of ours at 36k he's up to 40 because you can still snipe right you can still snipe even though he's 40k now you just can't get him easily in the market for 36 37k but uh yeah put some time in 37 ish i would say even 38 because tax is about 2,000 coins not bad on xbox and ps um yeah under 40k on pc okay guys if you're gonna focus on some 86s uh i like lafont um 25.3 for alba ito's 23 24 he's basically the same price as lafont i would go for this one in my opinion, out of packs, this card is easily 30k. Easily. The usability, along with the, uh, obviously, for SBCs being an 86 inform, yeah, he's just great. If you guys bought into the uh, 84 back in the day, I don't know how long you guys have been watching the, the channel for, but uh, back in the day, when he was in packs, 11k, I went all in. Literally, that was one of the fastest rises we've ever seen. I think that party bag or something came out, so it boosted him a lot. Uh, he went from about 11, 12k to... Uh, uh, I think it was like 20k in literally a couple days, so crazy, crazy stuff. But yeah, guys, so uh, yeah, just go for 22k for the 86s is what, is what I've been personally been aiming for. The 85s, if you guys have not bought them, I'm not even going to waste time on them. 18k a piece, all right? Muni Ayin was literally 17k. He's up to about 20, 21k. 18k all consoles, I still like for Rudiger and Muni Ayin. Okay, all the 84s are literally, I mean, this dude's like under 13k, guys. Um, yeah, it's a good thing that there's so many. Hopefully next week's doesn't have this many 84s, but... uh. Choose one. I would just choose one. 12k is the game. Bremer looks very cheap right now. Danjuma is 13.5. Consigli 13.8. So they're all about 13 to 14k. Gunster is a great one. 13k. Go for 12k. Yeah, any of these you can get as close to 12k as you can. I would pick them all up, literally. It is a waiting game. When will they go up? Next party bag. 
Next, uh, 84 plus player pick. Next, uh, 85 plus S times three SBC. Whatever, any of those things are something similar as long as they require informs. Uh, and also keep in mind that this week, right, the silver promo, it's pretty uh, like a, I don't want to call it a dead promo, but there's not a lot of content, right? So uh, I think EA are definitely going to bring the content very soon. Another thing, it is currently Sunday. If you guys are watching this, I will pick some up because EA tend to drop these party bag type stuff between uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. One of those three days usually. So uh, not a, today is probably, if you haven't bought, it's probably the best, best, like best chance I would say. Okay, Masrawi, guys, 11k. He's the only 83 as well. Ayak, so good links. Uh, he's great. If you're looking to go in all in on somebody from this team of the week, I will go with him, I think. Um, under 12k right now, boom, great. Aim for 11k, though. Okay, for my gamblers out there, right, the ones that, you know, if you guys like to bet on performances and stuff, Fafana right now, guys, if you guys, I'm not going to show it, but if you guys look it up, man, um, his team's next three games are a pretty easy schedule, I want to say. He's currently 770, uh, 660, and about way high on PC. However, this is one that I definitely think can do decent. Am I going to tell you to buy right now at this price? No. But throughout the day, look for like 30k undercuts if you're willing to take the chance, of course. All right. If I do, I'm going to pick one up. This one I'm undecided on. But just know that um, also, bonus, bonus, Klaus, I think, might get Team of the Week. All right. If Klaus gets in the Team of the Week, guess what? The people that also did the, I think it's the Headliners Klaus, right? They're going to, a lot of people might bring him back in the squad. Uh, so Fafana demand can definitely, definitely go up. Keep that in mind, guys, all right? Guys, in for Minan from last week is so viable right now. You guys don't understand. Hear me out, all right? So uh, actually, he was 28K before. He's even lower now than when he was in packs. Big reason I want to say is LaFont, right? 86 LaFont coming out, French goalie and whatnot. Um, so if I had to choose one, I would guess some of each. But if you can get this dude at 24K on PC and uh, PS... I would say 23 on Xbox. That's a move, guys. That is a move, right? He's been out of pass for like five days already. Um, also French, so he links to a lot of people. And, you know, if a guy like Tamori, let's say, gets does anything, this dude is going to the moon, all right? I definitely think eventually he will be well over 30K anyways. Not a bad shout. This is kind of like a second chance for guys that didn't buy last week. Okay, guys, so this day on right here, I'm very interested in. I think I'm going to pick one up at least throughout this week, maybe at content time. We'll see what he's at. I think they're in packs on Friday, but uh, the Europa MOTM, uh, De Jong right here. If you guys compare, he's 280 right now. Compared to his, uh, I guess, better card, if you will, he's got plus ones in three categories, pace, shooting, and defending, and then minus one on passing, right? So it's, like, basically the same card in a way. Um, being 120k cheaper, you know, I think these are going to level out, honestly. Um, now, it's either going to have to be this one tanks, right, or this one goes up. My money is on this one going up more than the, uh, the RTCK dropping. So keep that in mind. If he's like 250, two, maybe like 260 through the week, uh, PS guys, I would 100% take a look. Uh, Xbox guys, see if you can get him like 230 through the week and whatnot. He's a bit higher on PC. See if you can get him like 280. One that I'm definitely keeping an eye out for the next two days. All right, guys, so one that is steadily rising, and I think he's going to be over 50k real, real, real soon, is Kamara RTTF. All right, so um, this guy right here, if there's anything I've learned, is French, especially French League Un CDMs, out of packs, always do decent. Like, all of them. All of them. You can even think, like, who are random cards throughout the year? Obviously, again, Doozy, right? You have, like, even, like, HL Savanier or whatever. He flew out of packs. Um... Fafana, you know, all these guys. I mean, he's not French, but I guess League Un CDM Center Miss is what I'm trying to say. Um, Kamara, yesterday, all week we were Kem South flipping with him, buying at 40, 42, so for this price. Now he's up to 47. If you guys want to buy him, all right, I will go for 44K, give or take. Throughout the day, he does fluctuate uh, between 43 to like 46. So 43, 44 is what we're going for. 35 on Xbox, a bit higher on PC, aim for 50, 51. Try to get him market price with a shadow as well. Once again, if you guys want instant profit, this one is amazing still. You can probably make 4 to 5k profit instantly. However, he's one that, once again, I think he's going to keep rising. I think Marseille are... Are they through or something too? So this card is going to look great, honestly. Um, if you guys still want heat. Once again, he is up from a couple days ago. Stuff, Some stuff has risen, but you know there's still room to rise, in my opinion. Yo, if you guys bought Neymar, I think it was two days ago or two videos ago, I told you guys to buy at 105 to 108. GG, man. He's actually down a little bit today. Uh, right now, I should say. 128. Earlier, he was 135 earlier today. So, uh, yeah. Are we buying now? Eh, he can definitely still rise more. But what I'm more interested in, guys, is the inform, right? So, obviously, his flashback is gone now. His inform is up to 700. This is a card that, in my opinion, after rewards and whatnot, and also next week, uh, I think this card can definitely push 800. Like, real talk. 
The flashback one was literally halting this card like crazy. Now that it's gone, guys, keep this one in mind. Um, throughout the day, if you, I mean, if one pops up for like 650 or something for me, I'm picking it up, you know? So uh, go for like 30k undercuts if you guys can. Look at content time. Um, in the distant future, I think Lamar's going to do really good. Okay, Bomba is another one. Lower budget, guys. Um, this one's for you. So obviously, the day that Nay came out, the flashback, he literally tanked 50%, right? 50% he tanked. Um, he was down to the lowest I saw was 29, 30k. Now he's back with 40. Yeah, this is a card that can definitely push 50, in my opinion. If you guys want him, 35, 36 on PS is what I'm going for. 28 or so on Xbox. Um, yeah, PC, stay away. He's way too high. But uh, yeah, guys, not a bad shout. French as well. With Nay Nay gone, they're in the same boat. Left, mid, left wings in the whole game are going to, you know, go up a bit, in my opinion. They already have. Can go up more. Being in Ligue 1, though, extra bonus. Okay, kind of in the same boat. I want you guys to take a look at Janola, all right? He's currently 600, so he's pretty low right now. Let's see if he drops some more. Don't buy him right now, but being a league on, once again, left mid, left wing. Let's see, guys. If this dude drops another, like, 30k or something, I'm definitely going to pick one up. But uh, we'll see what happens with him in the next two days. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video, all right? A ton, a ton of info. Once again, a link down below. Come to the stream, twitch.tv slash one. If you guys have a question, just let me know. I'm live five to six days a week at 3 Eastern. Um, make sure you guys enter the giveaway, all right? If you want the rules again, go back to the beginning of the video. Drop a like, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new to enter the giveaway and for future investments. See you in the next one.